On May 3rd, World Press Freedom Day, a group of journalists visited the grave of the late journalist Elmar Husseinov. Husseinov was the editor of Monitor magazine when he was murdered in front of his house in March 2005. Editors and representatives of media organizations today gathered to commemorate the journalist who lost his life standing up for press freedom in Azerbaijan. Director of Tehran Information Agency, Mehman Aliyev, said that the press of freedom in situation is deteriorating and that this has been recognized internationally. The tax on journalists rose this year after a brief respite during recent years. Azad Look newspaper editor Ghanimat Zahid declared that even in the face of danger and repression, the free press is continuing to fight for free opinions. Political expert Leila Alieva added that freedom of speech and expression is not only a priority for journalists, but also for society as a whole. Everyone needs to come together to protect this right. Azad Look newspaper columnist Rovshan Hajiev called upon Ombudsman Elmira Suleimanova to start doing her duty as a defender of human rights and freedoms of journalists. Sabir Husseinov, father of Elmar, said that the president had promised to solve the crime within 40 days, but seven years have passed since the murder, which remains unsolved. Crime is not likely to be addressed by the current regime, he said. U.S. Embassy Press Secretary Keith Bean congratulated Azerbaijani journalists on May 3rd, World Press Freedom Day, and wished them success in their struggle against the existing problems. IRFS journalist Idrak Abbasov commented that assaults against journalists and bloggers have increased recently, naming Bakhtiar Hajiev and Jabar Savalan Le who are active on social networks and are now behind bars under what Abbasov deemed to be false charges. He reminded people that although the European Court of Human Rights ruled for the immediate release of journalist Enula Fatu live, he is still in prison. Elmar Husseinov's murderers have not been brought to justice.